Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. So I have something pretty exciting to show you guys today and to review, and it's something that I was pretty excited to see in the mail. It is a new Primary Arms Advanced Micro Red Dot with 50,000 hour battery life. Two MOA, waterproof, fog proof, is their, one of their newer offerings. It has a lot of rave reviews online, on YouTube, uh, a lot of good torture videos you can take a look at. Very nice red dot. And you might have seen, I do have a couple other red dot videos. And I'll tell you, as the years go on, technology for these micro red dots is just improving more and more. I mean, you know, I have a video on a variety of cheap end ones several years back with the sight mark and all those and Bushnell, I even have a video on just Bushnell. Um, and the TRS from Bushnell is great. And it's a low cost red dot that works. You know, this has good reviews too. But a couple of differences is I don't, I actually had one of these, I ended up selling it because I don't like the quality. I don't think the quality is there. That turn knob is really kind of weird. It's positive, but it's kind of in the way. And it has a three MOA red dot, so it's a um, one MOA bigger than the primary arms, which isn't good for long range. And like I said, the quality isn't there, I don't think. The inside, you can see some glue sometimes on the inside of the emitter, and the laser emitter is much bigger than the primary arms. And I'll show you guys that when I get this thing unboxed here. So without further ado, let's open her up. Nice foam padding there, keep it protected. Call primary arms if you need anything. A little bit of blue Loctite. Comes with two wrenches for the base, as well as a kind of a little cleansing cloth there. So like a gel pack. And here is the real, the real deal. Little rubber, cheap little rubber case on there. Probably won't use that much. Here she is, nice lens coating. You got a plus and a minus. Um, you got the knobs to adjust for windage and elevation. These just screw off this way. A little clickers will put a bullet, a bullet base in there. Back of the shell or a coin or something. Just like any other scope. Uh, battery compartment right here. The battery is a CR2032, five year, 50,000 hour battery life. Pretty tight on there, got an O-ring on there. Uh, it has a base installed on it to attach to any rail, um, whether it be, you know, Picatinny rail here, if you want to put it on a riser, and I'll show you the riser in a minute here. So what you do, push any button, I'll show you. You have several night vision settings, so in low light, like the first few, you can't even see the dot. There you go. So it's like three, three in, you can see, you can see a little bit, all right, so just go up from there. I will notice the last two are a pretty big jump if you notice that. See, pretty big jump. Now the dot's not perfect. I mean, these little dot, these little red dots aren't perfect. They actually um, have like a bunch of little dots in not a perfect circle either. But there's no flares or anything like that really that bad as you can tell. I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty nice. Camera doesn't really give it justice too much, but you can see the little emitter, see the little laser there. If you notice, it's not really in the way. On the about five o'clock position there, four o'clock, it's really kind of low profile, which is good because the uh, Bushnell, believe it or not, is definitely not low profile. <laughs> and that was the one thing I really did not like about it was the fact that you're looking down the site and there's like a rectangle in your field of view, like right here. It literally like sticks out like this. Kind of annoying, um, but again, cheaper, so it's up to you. Uh, these are going right now one sixty nine ninety nine. Show it a ways too, and I had this in my cart on Amazon for quite a long time, and I'll tell you, they do not go down in price. One seventy is about it, best you'll see. So just know that it's like a almost like a Yeti product. You know, you just will not find it on sale. So. This thing says it weighs 4.1 with the battery. And this says uh, 
3.88 ounces without the battery. So pretty close, very light. Uh, to put that in perspective on the Bushnell, you have a 3.7 ounce, probably without the battery. So very similar, very similar sight, I would say. Um, for risers, you have a couple of different kinds. You have like a cheaper UTG riser like this. This is a medium, I think 0.83 or something like that. Um, absolute co-witness with iron sights. So that's something to keep an eye on. You could do one third iron sight co-witness, which is good if you have a fixed front post, if you want the dot away from the front post, or if you have an AK, you need everything lower. Um, but this works great for absolute co-witness, which means it lines straight up with the sights. The dot should be factory zeroed, just above the front sight post. And we'll try that out in a second. And I will say, um, you know, I like this setup with the flip up sights the way it is. And you can actually get a, you can actually unscrew this base off of the actual sight. Um, you can put on a hollow sun or an aim point. There's so many different brands of uh, aim point compatible, they call it. Uh, bases basically sight bases and basically what it does is it makes it a much more sturdy product there's less screws to deal with uh, you basically just screw a base right to here and then screw the base to your rail and there's no actual rail like any chance of sliding back and forth at least at this point maybe on the bottom but not the middle part not here so what you do you go ahead and take your little riser crank her down. From what I've read, these hold zero really well and I've used them before on various sites. Oh man, we gotta get our wrench out real quick. Let's make some room here. Yeah, these UTGs seem to hold up very well. They got good reviews, they feel good quality, and they're really cheap because I'll tell you those high riser, the, uh, the regular risers you could buy are definitely not cheap. They are not cheap at all. You're looking at, you know, 30 bucks and up, especially like Leopold and all them. There you go. Oh, put it on backwards. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so tighten it down, obviously when you do tighten this down you want to go ahead and use Loctite. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes but so there you go that's what it's going to look like with a UTG riser on it. Just go ahead and fold them down. Again it only adds a little bit of weight probably about six ounces with the base. It's really not bad. Now the trick is you can flip the sights let me flip this aperture down. You guys get a better view. Let's see if we can take a look. This is why we should be allowed to have SPRs without having too much trouble. All right. Check it out. Factory zeroed pretty much. I mean, at least, at least side to side, right? For windage, elevation will have to be changed depending on where you want this. This rifle is centered at, uh, sighted in at 50 yards. So look at that. That's nice though, the fact that the dot is pretty much centered already. And then if you go ahead and you flip it down out of the way, which is what I love about front uh, sight posts like this, nothing's in your field of view. And that little laser emitter at the five o'clock I told you about, not bad at all. So you can actually leave this sight on <laughs> as long as you want. Uh, you know, turn it down to like seven or eight. It's gonna last for five years. Keep yourself a stash of batteries and you can go forever on that sight. Um, all the torture set tests, you know, people freeze it. They drop it in water, they throw it in the oven, the site is holding very well. So if you haven't picked one of these up yet, go ahead and do it next time they get them in. Like I said, they go fast, they sell it quick. I talked to a guy at Primary Arms, what was it, last a couple weeks ago when they first got their first shipment in. They were about three months back, back ordered. They had got a thousand unit pallet and they were all gone in the first week. And this is one of the thousands. So <laughs> they go out quick um, and that's throughout all the distributors on Amazon and like different websites and stuff. They don't sell them in many stores. I mean, Primary Arms is pretty much just the website and maybe Amazon, so. So yeah, pick this one up if you can, guys. I'm gonna do a range review on this. Let me test it out for a little while, make sure it holds zero and is nice and everything, and I don't see any problems that should occur, but you never know. So, well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video,
and have a good one.